can you talk about getting a job at McNeese right out of college? Yeah, well, I was like, I was super excited when I got a job. Um, the way that I've just always done things is I'm, I'm always looking at what's next. And I mean, that's, uh, that's materialized in the way that I teach. It's everything I do. I'm always thinking about where I'm headed and doing what I'm doing right now to make sure that I get there. So um, when I was at Eastman, I was prepping for my doctorate. As soon as I started my doctorate, I knew what recitals I wanted to do when I was prepping for that kind of stuff. And as soon as I started at UNT for my doctorate, I knew, okay, I'm going to be done in three years and I'm going to make sure that I am establishing myself. So um, my first year at UNT, I auditioned for the Monroe Symphony Orchestra and won the second trumpet position for that because I knew that was another checkbox that I needed. And um, just getting as many gigs as I can, playing with as many people, doing as many things, playing in as many ensembles on campus as possible as well to get that experience, brass bands, orchestras, wind symphonies, everything. Um, just so that I had this very well-rounded approach to things. And um, I also started thinking about what people are looking for and um, in, in job interviews and stuff. And I realized that, you know, a lot of us who go to these conservatories or these big schools like UNT, we're thinking about creating these programs that are exactly like that. But for smaller schools like McNeese, uh, it's all about recruiting and retention and making sure that you're showing students that you can actually like make a career as a band director as basic as that. So understanding the recruitment side of things and, and learning about how to do that. And speaking from somebody, my um, where I went to high school and middle school was really interesting. My middle school was three people in the band, including myself. And my high school band, I think, was 12 people at its peak, and that went down from my freshman year. Like, it was it was crazy. So um, for me to come out of that, I know that it's possible, and I, I use that as kind of a motivation for how to feel, okay, what, what do I want to establish as my teaching philosophy that's going to appeal to different universities? And um, knowing that they're, they're looking for somebody they can work with, too, that's one of the biggest things. It's not just about you being this picture perfect personification of a college professor, you know, they want somebody who's going to get the job done, but also not be somebody who is going to be intense all the time, somebody that they can enjoy working with and being around somebody creative, somebody who's willing to work, but still be kind and generous and everything like that. So that's, that's kind of my, my approach to prepping for that. And it was just um, a lot of it is realizing that when you're still in your doctorate, people are looking more for people who already have it versus when they don't. So I didn't get a single interview until I put that DMA next to my name. And then I got like four interviews and immediately, and it was just staying on it, applying to every single job, every single one. I think I probably applied 73 jobs total during my three years at UNT and four of them I was invited to. So that's that patience. <laughs>